These copy protection things are incredible bullshit. <laughs> Hello gamers, this is DNH and welcome to... The curtain is about to go. No, welcome to... Come on. Oh, I guess I can click. Okay, the Colonel's Bequest. A Laura Bow mystery. Have you previously attended a... I have, but I'm gonna say no because then it'll show the uh, introduction. Um, excited to be here. Uh, Colonel's Bequest. Uh, again, I've said before, man, the, uh, this is really a great era in Sierra games. The early SCI engines, there's a lot of wonderful games. Colonel's Bequest is a great game. Henry Dijon signing his will. So, uh, last week you probably saw, um, Indiana Jones, uh, posted. Uh, that was the second part to that. Uh, but prior to that, I had a couple weeks where I didn't post anything. And, um, I, you know, I, uh, I'll probably go into it a little bit more in this episode, but the short answer to why I didn't, well, and I've said before, maybe I said before, certainly, uh, I, I do this as a hobby. I'm not going to post every single week. I'm going to miss some, some weeks. But in this particular case, uh, I was working in my attic, uh, and this is not a story that's related to the, the fact that this is a mystery game. But anyway, I was working in my attic, uh, and I fell, and I hit my head, uh, and I had ended up in the emergency room, had to get a CAT scan. Uh, thankfully, it seems that everything is fine. Um, so Colonel Dijon is faithful staff. Uh, you know, I had a pretty good bump on my head and some some neck pain from whiplash. But overall, uh, I'm fine. Things could have been a lot worse, so I'm very thankful. But um, I did end up not feeling like recording anything, certainly for a couple weeks. And uh, so, yeah. But I'm back, back to play in this. So uh, the confidants... Um, I have whiskey, as always. Uh, I have a Duncan Taylor 12-year uh, blended scotch whiskey. The blended whiskeys get kind of a bad rep sometimes. Um, I mean, they're obviously cheaper than other stuff. Uh, 1925 Tulane University, New Orleans. Uh, that's Laura. That's your, your character sitting in the chair. Here comes your, your friend Lily. Wait, is that Lily? That's not Lily. That's just some random chick walking around wearing a flapper dress because it's a uh, fucking... 1920s New Orleans. Anyway, um, D uh, Tulane for the T. Okay, whatever. So, uh, uh, Duncan Taylor, there's a little fine. Duncan Taylor, um, blended scotch whiskey. Uh, you know, that's, uh, I would rather be with the people in this room than with the finest people I know. Cheers. <sighs> hey, Laura, want to go with me this weekend? Uh, I don't know, I'm studying because I'm boring. Um, <laughs> oh. oh, come on, it'll be a scream. Uh, yeah, that's true. Hmm. Duncan Taylor, not too bad. Okay, count me in. So, um, there, this is it's supposed to be like a play. I mean, that was why the stage was there. But I mean, this happens in, in a, in a location. Uh, at a mansion, there are six acts, quote unquote, acts to this play, and um, really things progress when you see certain events that happen. Um, and you can progress through this game without even really knowing a whole lot of anything. Uh, but the the point is to try to find out ab about as much stuff as you can and increase your your sleuth score. Um, Early on, there's a lot of con conversing with, with characters and talking with people. You're supposed to ask people about a whole bunch of stuff. So early on, things are probably going to progress a little bit more slowly. I think think this will be um, two episodes. Uh, there are eight acts. I don't know if I'll get through act four in this first episode. Um just because again we're here Laura uh, just because again um there's a lot more kind of conversing and things that happen in the early acts uh we'll see we'll see how things are going I really feel like this will probably be two episodes uh that I can cram it into uh but you know if things are going really slow I'll make it three this is a great game I don't want to shortchange it and you can get like super sleuth there aren't points in this game like traditional Sierra games but uh, for everything that you see that you're supposed to see or learn, uh, you get sleuth points. Um, but basically, uh, you, I, I don't know that I'll get super sleuth or the, the best one because you have to kind of see or learn pretty much everything. That's Jeeves. 
Uh, <laughs> lightning strikes. Actually, that's really well done. Like, uh, uh, this is an amazing game. And um, for the time period, this is like in 1989, like I've said, this would have blowed my fragile little mind. <laughs> I mean, it was uh, amazing. They're just sitting down for dinner. Uh, please come in and join them. Yep. Looking, uh, looking forward to it, Jeeves. Okay, so we're in the in the dining hall. There, uh, Fifi the maid is wheeling in Colonel Dijon. Um, I'm sure you're wondering why I sent for you. Except for you, Laura. As you know, I'm a wealthy man. Um... My end is near, decided to bequeath my millions to each of you sitting at this table. Or all fall far younger than me, uh, except Laura. Well, fuck you too, buddy. No. Um, we, we would expect that. Ahem. How awkward that my beautiful Laura uh, invited you randomly. But anyway, um, y'all inherit, will inherit an equal share. Unless somebody here dies first, then we'll split up the rest of your share. If any of you die before I do. Oh, good God Almighty. <laughs> Very foreboding. So this is a murder mystery. I, you know, I don't know. So people start croaking, and you're supposed to figure out who's doing it, right? <laughs> uh, can you believe that? The old goat. Um, okay. Surprised he didn't take it all with him. Such as an old skin flint. I, I don't. I don't know why. Well, first of all, I mean he's in a massive mansion, uh, so I don't. I don't know that he's you know that much of a skin flint. And from a guy who just said he's going to give all of you all, all of his money, I don't know why you're calling him a skin flint. But whatever, your share. Uh, I wonder how sick he is. Uh, uh, do you think he's going to go soon? Yeah. These are these are all great people, by the way. We're we're incredibly sad that they're uh, some poor percentage of them are going to die. <laughs> oh man. Anyway. Okay, so we're in Act One. It's seven o'clock, and actually, each act I think is is an extra hour. Time doesn't really like you could stand here forever, and time. To, okay, the clocks uh, and and time doesn't necessarily pass. It'll it'll pass when you see a certain event. You know, when when certain set of requirements have been fulfilled. Now, again. You don't necessarily have to see very, very specific things. Um, I, I mean, you could you could miss a ton of stuff and still pass time. This is guest room you share. Uh, tired looking, blah, blah, blah. Uh, seems comfortable. Laura, please excuse me. I'm going to freshen up. Uh, bathroom, why don't you explore the estate a bit? Uh, something doesn't feel right. Everybody's acting too strange, even Lillian. What would daddy do in this situation? Uh, this is your father, honey. Things don't feel right. They probably aren't. Observe the situation, uh, yet be unobtrusive, uh, obtrusive, uh, explore your surroundings quietly and carefully, um, question others, uh, take notes, small details, take lots of notes, uh, above all, be careful. Uh, she goes to her suitcase to get her notebook. This is kind of a weird, uh, guest room because there's like a pass through, um, you never go anywhere without your trusty notebook. Uh, okay, uh, we can save, right? F5, yep. Starting out. Okay. Um, so so this is... Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty fucking slow. Um, does that... Does speed now work? I'm hitting plus. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, all right, uh, so this is like a, um, see, this is like another guest room. There's a pass through to a guest room. Uh, looks like this might have been nursery one time converted to make sure guest room with Ethel. Um, yeah, that's weird. Uh, plus I'm not really supposed to go there yet necessarily. So, um, the, the first area is really Ethel's bedroom, but, uh, open, shoot. Um, there appears to be a shoot of some kind. You look in shoot. 
Uh, cautiously, you poke your head in the dark opening. Uh, all you can see is a narrow chute and down to complete darkness. Uh, jump in, shoot. I. And you died. Good job. <laughs> Way to die in your first 10 seconds of a Sierra game. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, look. Painting. Uh, fireplace. Uh, on the opposite wall, you see a picture of a funny... Okay, so above the fireplace, you see Colonel Dijon, more younger days. On the opposite wall, so the wall that you're looking through, you see a, a, f the, a little girl. Funny, strange, have hollow eyes. So on this wall down here, imagine that there's a picture, and you say it has hollow eyes. So um, basically, that's a clue that you can see through that, that there's a secret passage. But anyway, open, uh, shoot... Uh, look in shoot, close shoot. Um, okay, I don't remember if I'm supposed to do that or not. But anyway, uh, oh, you are supposed to go to Ethel's bedroom. This was Ethel, right? Uh, oh, it is Ethel. Okay, <laughs> so um. You're supposed to go through the full conversation list. Like, it's nice that right when you go into a room for the first time, it does what essentially would be the look command. I mean, it's, you know, giving you the the cue to look and whatever. But um, so this is Ethel, and it's the first time we're talking to Ethel. So we're going to do a full conversation list. So ask about Seely. Uh, that's the maid. She's been around forever. Parents were slaves on the plantation. Strange practices. Ask about... Clarence, um, honestly, I don't know. Henry insists on keeping him. He's the doctor. Ask about Henry. Um, Henry's uh, old penny pincher. Yeah, it seems like it. Ask about Wilbur. He's the doctor. I don't know. Doctor feels well. Uh, ask about Ethel. Uh, I'm not discussing myself. Ask about Fifi. Uh, girl, we better watch her step. Ask about Gertie. Um, ask about... Gloria, um, niece always acts like a famous actress, ask about, uh, and niece of her, but she's old as shit, um, one of the other old people, uh, sometimes I wonder about that man, uh, ask about Laura is me, so, uh, I don't know anything about you, uh, ask about Lillian, uh, Lillian is her daughter, uh, up and down, ask about Rudy, uh, my nephew, blah, 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 ask about Sarah. She's like a ghost. Um, okay, ask about doctor's bag. Ask about estate. Island is too far away from New Orleans, frankly. Ask about Beauregard is the dog. Uh, ask about Blaze. Uh, that's the horse. Ask about Colonel and Fifi. Um, Henry is an old fool. Ask about Rudy and Clarence. Uh, you know, and, and some people know some uh, more about some things than others. Uh, OK. Uh, Glory would want anything to do with Clarence, blah, blah, blah. Always wonder about those two. Okay, last one. Okay, there's okay. So, um, uh, Ethel holds a drink with a white hanky. Uh, so you're supposed to know she has a hanky. Um, holds a drink with a white hanky in her hand. Uh, 
Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. That's what we're supposed to see in here. Excellent. Uh, keep it going. Good. Okay. Um, so look painting. Uh, we saw that. Look eyes. Uh, the eyes look strange and hollow. Uh, and we already, uh, did the shoot thing. Um, so we, we already looked at the painting too. I kind of went out of order there. Okay. Now we're going to go to the bathroom. Um, back upstairs hallway of the mansion. Good. It's a pretty big fucking house. It's a nice place. We're just going to walk in. Uh, Modern bathroom has been installed in the old house. Hi, Laura. I'm feeling better now that ride through the bio is plum frazzled. If you need to freshen up, I'll be done in just a bit. Uh, look, uh, Lillian, uh, your friend, Lillian Prune, uh, always a rebellious slapper, uh, 20 years old, unlike you. She's known to hang out in the speakeasy smoke, run around with several young men. Um, okay. Kind of a slut. It's, it's what that's saying. Um, does that okay? Uh, your friend is freshening up in the bathroom. It says, "Look at her twice." So we looked at her twice. Okay, um, look in basket. Wait until Lillian leaves. Um, okay, do we wait till she leaves before? Uh, apparently, it's empty. Okay, now can we look in the basket? Currently, it's empty. Uh, I guess we're just supposed to know that it's currently empty. Um, we're going to save here. Uh, wash. OK. Good. Um, use toilet. Uh, excuse us. Well, did you think this was Leisure Suit Larry? <laughs> Funny. You know, that's funny. Uh, well, and, and you do use a, a toilet in Larry one, which is interesting. But. Um, uh, but uh, even though you close the door uh, for the toilet, uh, you are going to strip down to nothing with your butt showing. And take a shower. <laughs> she's too proud to close the door with the toilet obviously this was a bad idea anybody ever seen psycho yeah um don't take a shower didn't alfred hitchcock teach you any alfred did alfred hitchcock anyway okay um uh okay um i don't think i get uh there's again there's not really any points and i'm not really learning anything by using the toilet so uh whatever um Okay, so, uh, we need to go to Lillian's bedroom. Um, uh, keep it going. Okay, we're gonna come down here. Back to Lillian's bedroom. Uh, if you ask me, I don't think she has any. Uh, I'm just gonna butt in on this conversation. Oh, hello, dear. Uh, having a little moment at our chat. Look, glass uh, seems to be drinking strong alcohol. Look, hanky. Okay. Um, now we're supposed to have this. Uh, uh, oh, I just love Celie. You, we're supposed to have the full conversation list again with, um, with, uh, Laura at this point, or with Laura, uh, with Lillian at this point, uh, Clarence, uh, cheap swindler, Henry, she likes Henry, they're very close, uh, don't know, uh, Nobody likes the doctor. Uh, mother is who she is. She's like sitting right there in the room too. Fifi's a fake. Uh, Aunt Gertie was a big snob. Um, Why do you think she's so glamorous? Uh, I think they're having a fling. Uh, ask about me. What do I care about it? That's me, you 
bitch. Anyway, uh, <laughs> ask about... Uh, I'm not gonna ask her about herself. Uh, you never paid much attention to me. Ask about Sarah the ghost. Um, oh, I don't know who she is. Ask about... Bag. Ask about estate. Uh, plantation. Ask about the dog. Uh, ask about the horse. Uh, I loved riding. Uh, ask about... Colonel and Fifi just leaning on him. Uh, you like my new outfit, Lily? Uh, not particularly, Mother. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm busy talking here. I know you were having, like, a... Uh, I don't know why I would ask. Uh, okay, ask about... Uh, not sure. Ask about... Uh, refuse is not the right type. Uh, about... Two cousins, uh... Last one. Okay, good. Um, all right. All right, so Lily and Ethel are in there. Um, so if we come over here, and we... Uh, I'm right on fucking top of it. And we open the cabinet... Da, 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 secret passage. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, we we're supposed to. So we remember that there were hollow eyes. Uh, look through hole to spy on Lillian and Ethel. Uh, Gertie isn't deserving of any of Henri's money. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what are you going to do about it, Mother? <sighs> Never change, do you? Uh, and again, there's a lot of, like... <laughs> It's gonna be hard. I really think we will get through this in two episodes. I mean, we're we're twenty some minutes in, but um, I, I you know, there's a lot of that whole conversation list I have to have with every character, technically or most characters, but it, but uh, only once, and and it'll it'll progress. We'll we'll get through that. We've already been through a couple of those people. Okay, um, s smell is the other thing. Uh, you notice a faint aroma of perfume in this uh, in this um. Secret passage. Okay. Um, so, uh, okay. So we're good in here. We close that. Um, done first spy. Okay. So now we're going to go to uh, Henri, Henry's room. Um, and here we go. Uh, we do the full conversation list with him. It's an elegant room, the colonel, blah, blah, blah. There's an elevator. Whoa. Oh, 715. Okay, that's fine. Uh, sometimes time can progress like that, but it didn't progress to Act 2. When, when you see certain things, that, that was fine. As long as it didn't progress to Act 2, we should be fine. Because there are certain things, once you get out of an act... Um, you can't really see anything from the prior act because quote unquote time has progressed and this is supposed to be relatively linear. Okay, she's dusting around. That's fine. So we're at uh, this old guy. Now we're going to question him. We're just this random chick, his daughter, uh, well, or his granddaughter, his granddaughter brought in. And, uh, you know, we're just questioning the shit out of everybody. Um, yeah, go find her, pester her, ask about... Uh, uh, leave my attorney out of the... Oh, that's his... Oh, yeah. Clarence is his attorney. Um, Wilbur is the doctor. Um, uh, my sister's none of your business. Uh, pay much attention. 
um, relationship with your, uh, the Colonel doesn't really give you, uh, much of anything. As I recall, um, Uh, <laughs> the dog. <laughs> We're really, uh, <laughs> again, uh, we're, uh, this is the third person we're a asking these things to, so, uh, my, t okay, last one. Okay, fine. We've questioned the shit out of him. He's, he's boom, boom, boom. Okay, so we look at the cannon that's on the um, that's on the mantle. Uh, that was that was the cannon. Looks. Uh, how, uh, so we look at painting. We notice that um, on the opposite wall from the fireplace, there's again a portrait with open eyes. Uh, boom, boom, boom. That's always a big deal. Um. Uh. And their strange and vacant look. The colonel smokes a small cigar. Um, I don't think I can. Um, oh, I don't think I can look in the cannon while he's there. Uh, you see a tarnished brass key hidden inside the barrel of the cannon. Um, it doesn't say take key. Uh, so, um, it, but it says ask about cigar. Do you hate cigars, young lady? Good. Okay. Uh, he's kind of a, you know, whatever, jerk. Um, talked to the jerk. Okay. So now we've we've barged into his room. We've looked at that uh, again. Okay. Um... Yeah, we're we're no longer surprised, but that's fine. Uh, so we're gonna go up, look in hole. Okay, so now we spy on uh, Colonel and Fifi here. Uh, oh, Monami, I find it difficult to refuse you. I am so attracted to you. Mm, okay. Well, I was quite a blade in my younger days. I, I, I I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Ooh la la, tell me more. Um. I do appreciate you, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Again, we're going to smell a uh, faint aroma of perfume. Uh, okay. We can't smell, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <clears throat> spy on Henry, Fifi. Uh, okay. Now we go to the parlor. Uh, oops, no, no, no. I wanted, uh... Okay. We're, we're good. We're progressing this thing. Um, this front hallway... Again, I, I, I do appreciate the fact that it does the look command automatically. Um, so, I think the parlor is through here. This is not the parlor. Um, cozy guest room, which Gloria and Gertie share. Uh, is the parlor to the right or is it downstairs? Rudy and Clarence. Okay. Um, so we're going to go downstairs. 
Uh, there's the uh, stairs up to the attic, uh, the front hallway. Um, <clears throat> you have to be careful about walking. Like, if you walk in the center, uh, I saved it recently, but um, if you walk in the center, I think the thing falls on you. I must be mistaken. Oh, no, it's it does fall on you. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a weird, like, again, this is one of the things that a lot of people complain about in Sierra games. There's this flex of, like, uh, oh, no, like, um, you have to save early and often. Um, like, you can get that that to fall on you too but anyway so just don't walk down the center is the parlor over here yeah the parlor's over here okay um so we have a full conversation with gertie um i didn't think that was gertie uh well this isn't the parlor that's the billiard room hang on let um that progressed. Uh, let's, I, I think this is the parlor. Yeah. Okay, this is the parlor. Okay, you entered the parlor in the mansion. Um, full conversation with, uh, it's just progressing. So obviously, this is progressing time. And then once we go in the other one, it'll progress another 15 minutes. And then eventually it'll progress to the, the act two. Um, old bitty, shish, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so and again, you can tell there's a picture on the wall that's going to have spy holes, right? So uh, we're in the parlor. Full conversation with Gertie. Here we go. Uh, uh, blah, 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 old man. Uh, Um, you know, it, and it's funny, I mean, you're learning things about these, oh, uh, um, how do I know you? <laughs> uh, Lillian has her problems, um, Um, honestly, uh, so this is getting you knowledge and whatever. Um, but, like, and you're supposed to be figuring out stuff, although most of these are just like, um, I don't want to, I don't want to talk to you about it, right? Um, some people are more talkative than others, uh, Uh, this is Gloria, so, um, or no, this is Gertie, uh, so we don't want to ask about anything related to Gertie. Ah, how dare you in would be interested in a floozy. Okay, um. Uh, Two children, uh... Okay. Um, that was the full conversation with her, uh, and now we have a full conversation with him. Uh, okay. Don't, doesn't care about servants. That's a little, uh, rude. Uh, oh, because that's him. Uh, no, huh? Is this Clarence? Um, it is Clarence. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Uh, that's the lawyer. Okay. Uh, why are you sick? No, I'm fine. Um, okay, we're not going to ask about, uh, Gertie, uh, right when she's right there. Getting a little too personal here. Doesn't bother with servants. What difference do I make? Um, Lillian, not much better than her mother. Um, uh, not really. Uh, Sarah is a ghost. Uh, 
It's not for you to mess with. Uh, uh we are supposed to, okay. Uh we are supposed to determine that basically uh, everybody somewhat hates each other. Oh, he is Clarence. Ask about... Um, stupid enough to give it to her. Uh, no, that's Gertie. Oh, that's Clarence. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Um, I don't care about it. Oh, that's Clarence. Right. Okay, that's the last one, because all of the other ones are... Okay, fucking shit. All right, all right, we're good. Um, look to Cantor. On the countertop, you see a decanter of cognac. Oh, cheers. If I had con see, if I had cognac, I should be drinking cognac. I was actually thinking, I mean, this Duncan Taylor is pretty good. I was actually thinking about doing a mystery whiskey, like just trying to pour something that I didn't know what it was, uh, but that was too hard. And there was no one else uh, here in the house right now to help me out with that. Uh, but that might have been fun. Like, oh, here's a mystery whiskey. Uh, I wonder what this is. Anyway, um... Okay, look decanter. He's smoking a cigar. We look cigar. Uh, ask about bag. Uh, I don't have anything else to say about that. I think I already asked about the doctor's bag. Okay. Um, ask. Uh, no, no, no. Look glass. Um, Clarence is drinking cognac at the bar. Okay. Um, Good, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now we, again, now we've seen that there are two people in this room that are, uh, potentially having a conversation. Uh, pull mirror. Uh, so we're going to move the mirror. It reveals a, uh, secret passage. Look through hole. Um... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I do think that's cool. So now we're going to spy on them. I've heard our fair deal many times. Uh, property along the river, but the old biddy won't sell. Um, what you could possibly want that swampy land anyway. Uh, no good for anybody. Um, <laughs> well, you know, Gertie, uh, my dear, uh, just say happen. So... Also, kind of the point of a lot of this is that everybody has their own agendas. Um, th this is such a good game, though. Like, honestly, you've seen me play through a lot of these games, and I've kind of skipped through a lot of this of the, of the dialogue, and that's somewhat true in this game, too, obviously. I mean, I'm not reading all of these things verbatim. But, uh, you know, there's a lot going on in this game, and it's really sort of very interesting for the Sierra games and for point-and-click adventure games in general, or parser-based adventure games in general. And uh, it, generally, it's just really well-written. Uh, very interesting, very well done. Credit to Roberta Williams. I think this is one of her better games. And I don't, like, did... Uh, I don't know who else collaborated on it. I'm not, like, much of a Sierra historian. I mean, I know there's a lot of very famous uh, Sierra developers like Outlo and Jane Jensen and whatever. And and I don't know all of who contributed to this game. Uh, does smell work uh, in this one? Uh, it's still a faint aroma of perfume. Okay. Uh, okay. So we we've done that. Um, we've spied on them. <laughs> Obviously, there's another painting north of here, too. Uh, we're not gonna, and there's, like, you can see their doors, like, right here, and then over on the other side of that, too. Like, there are doors into, like, you can go into that actual room. Uh, we're not gonna do that. And there are times in which you do that, but basically, um, you do have to kind of be careful, because if somebody's in that room, I think it's, like, a kind of an insta-death. Um, okay, so now we're going to go to the billiard room, which we found out was over here, and it should progress time, potentially, to 15. You found the Colonel's billiard room. 
Um, yeah, okay, so to 45, right? Sorry, 745. And again, we notice there's a picture on the wall with hollow eyes and blah, 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 you know. Um, Uncle Henry's a strange coot. Um, so again, <laughs> we're going to do a full conversation with these people. Uh, look, eyes, uh, boom, boom, boom. And honestly, I don't think, I, I don't think we noticed the eyes in the other thing, but it's not really going to matter. Um, yeah, we're for like 40 minutes in this thing, but again, uh, uh, strange old gal. Uh, once we do this with everybody, uh, things are going to progress pretty quickly. So, um, um, this is Rudy. And, uh, and Glory is the other person in here, so I'll leave my mother out of this. Rudy's pretty, uh, uh, Glory's right here, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Rudy's, uh, pretty much a jerk. Um, that's me. Um, uh, ask. No one cares about me. I don't know why the hell I'm asking about me. Uh, plus, people don't really know about me. No idea who Sarah is. Uh, most people don't know the ghost either. Uh. Uh, oh, Gloria's in here. Sorry. Uh, well. That is Rudy, so. Okay, stay away from my mother. Good. Uh, she's just, like, flicking her fucking cigarette on the floor. That's gross. Uh, practices voodoo. <laughs> Cheap trollop. <laughs> Rudy is right here. <sighs> okay. Again, most of these things are like, you know, this is a list... Some people, uh, you know, asking everybody all of these questions. Some uh, people. Uh, some people know and talk more than others, but also. Um, you're just by their responses, you're supposed to kind of get an idea of. Um, uh, who the people are and their motivations, although most of the people are jerks. So, um, it's not really, you know, I mean, I could, I could, Gloria and Rudy are both right here. Uh, Okay, good. Uh, Clarence and my mother don't get along very well. I mean, so again, okay, fine, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> although, 
we could decide how how much or how little that's worth it. So a uh, full conversation with both of them and then look uh, uh, at the cigarette. Uh, Gloria acquired a bad habit. OK, so again, we, we have the picture. So again, what, what do we what do we think? These uh, that's how this house is. We come over here. There's a clock. Uh, pull clock. We can hear it ticking. Uh, obviously, there's a secret passage. Uh, oh, and we're surprised about that. Anyway, uh, look in a hole. Uh, okay, and we're again, we're gonna spy on, on the skin flint. <sighs> what I could do with that dough. Uh, how rich is he, darling? <laughs> it's fine. Um... If he's so rich, why doesn't he keep this place up better? It's such a dump. Seems nice to me. Although old mansions on, like, islands would be really hard uh, and expensive to maintain. Um, Miser wouldn't part with a penny if he could help it. Honestly, it seems like it's in pretty good repair for, for the situation, but whatever. Maybe it's, I, I honestly, I'm a little worried because we're at like 45 minutes. Maybe it's grandiose to expect uh, him to decide his breakout with currency is such a doll. Maybe it's grandiose to expect that uh, I am going to get through this in two episodes. It might be three because I'm still in act one. But again, a lot of these questions that I've been typing out to all these people, I've now done what, like six or seven people uh, for, th through these full questions. That's the longest part of this walkthrough although there are other parts like this might legit be three episodes this is probably one game where i will enjoy spending three episodes though okay um smell uh again notice an aroma of perfume okay so we go back out in the hallway uh we're gonna go in the library uh <clears throat> there's no there's a uh th and uh gertie just came in here uh, we, we don't need to spy on this conversation, um, and in fact, I think she's going to leave. Uh, I want to warn you, Wilbur, don't you dare go spilling the beans on me. Um, I wouldn't do a thing like that, sweetie pie. Um, uh, my little medical problem is own business, blah, 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 you keep quiet. I think she leaves before I, uh, I go, so. Sure thing, whatever you say. Fine. Yeah, so there's no need. We've we've spied on that conversation just by being here. And again, we ask Wilbur, the doc. No, yeah, the doctor, the um, uh, if you wonderful girl, um, this guy's pretty nice. Uh, generally, in comparison to uh, everybody. Larry's a beautiful girl, desirable, uh, gross. Um, <clears throat> don't think much about Jeeves. Uh, I'm Laura. Uh, haven't seen Lillian in quite some time. Uh, no more morals than a rat. Honestly, he kind of he kind of assesses people relatively fairly, I guess. Um, this is the doctor, so uh, stay out of my bag. <laughs> Did I not type um, Beauregard right? I probably did. Okay. Can't blame him. <laughs> Spin with her.
Uh, okay. And this is Wilbur. Gloria shouldn't listen to her brother so much. Uh, so last one. Okay. We're good. Um... We look at the magazine. Um, pictures of racehorses. Okay, look. Picture. Um, hollow looking eyes. Look. Eyes. Uh, hollow looking eyes. Right. And. Um, so there's no there's nothing to spy on with this particular one, so we're not going to go in and do that. Uh, didn't need to spy. Uh, we are going to go over here to the dining room, though. Uh, this was the dining room that we were in. Um, look, uh, painting, and again, you can spy on the dining room. We, we noticed that... Uh, look, eyes. The eyes are oddly vacant. Um, and we also notice that there's this shoot, uh, why can't I do that? No? Open door? Oh, okay. Okay. Now we go into the kitchen. This is Seely. She's the maid. Um, and actually, and, oh, and there's Beauregard, the dog, is sitting there too. Um, we don't have to talk to the dog. And actually, this says you don't have to do the whole conversation with uh, Seely, but um, yeah, uh, just to be safe. I mean, we're already uh, doing it. Um, Maybe there's a reason why it says that. You got to get the dishes done before the colonel gets mad. Go on with you now. Uh, okay. I guess I, I guess she's just not going to tell you anything at this point. I guess that's why it says a full conversation is not necessary. Um, and then it says open the ice box. It doesn't say pet the dog, but you always got to pet the dog when you're... Uh, Okay. Um, a leftover soup bone might come in handy. You grab it and take it with you. Good. Um, got a bone. It, uh, you give the dog the bone, but not right now. Okay. Um, Gertie and Gloria's bedroom see Gertie sleeping. Okay. So, um, all right. We're about to progress. Uh, this act. So we've done we've done everything here. We've talked with a lot of people. Um, we're going to definitely progress to act two here. So we have to go back up. And again, I sorry, I'm moving the walkthrough down a little bit. Um, so Gertie and Gloria are sharing a room over to the left here. So we're supposed to go uh, to the left and see that Gertie is sleeping in this room. Okay? And it progresses to act two. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Um, can't save right now. Why not? Okay. Oh, uh, they actually got, uh... Snoring sounds. Uh, maybe I'll get through Act 2. Uh, I don't know. It's already like 55 minutes. Okay, so we walk out. Uh, we see there's a hanky on the ground. Uh, look, handkerchief. Um, da -da -da, get hanky. Um, okay. 
Okay. Do we have so we have uh okay, super bone, uh notebook and pencil. I think it like it automat Oh. Okay, you can you can look at what you written in your notebook earlier. Okay, so now we immediately came out of this room, right? Uh, so we go back in here and we notice that something happened. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. So um, uh, is that cigar smoke you smell? Okay, so it looks like it's all disheveled. Gertie was sleeping in here five seconds ago, but whatever. Uh, you peer out the open window into the darkness, looking downward, you think you see something, but you can't make out any details. Okay, look, uh, <clears throat> painting, uh, vacant stare, uh, look, guys, I don't know, yeah, it's vacant stare, uh, you know, it, it, there's a secret passage, I don't know why you're fucking surprised about that at this point, but whatever, okay, um, study room. Okay. All right, so we, we've done that. Someone's walking outside on the second story veranda. Who could it be? Okay. Uh, is, was this the study room, or this was Henry's room, or what? Oh, yeah, okay, so through Henry's room, which, you know, we're just going to traipse through your room. Whatever, buddy, we don't care. Um, we're going to go into the study. Uh, is this the study? No. This is where Wilbur's sleeping. Hmm. Um, okay, sorry. I shouldn't, uh, okay. <laughs> I shouldn't have restored, but whatever. Um, I think you see something. Can't make out any details. Look. Okay. Um. Keep it going. All right. Uh, where was the study? I guess that was downstairs. That was the room. That I, yeah. One important tool is asking questions um, to them and listen to their response. Tell Gloria about Fifi. You may receive additional information about Fifi. Yeah. I, I, yeah. She's thinking about her father, and he's giving her advice. I, I, I've i fucking been doing that if you haven't been observing that asshole. But anyway. Okay. Um, this is a uh, library. Is the study over here? Yeah, this is the study. Okay. Um, look cabinet and look glass case. Uh, okay. Look... Both cabinets. So a cabinet with plain glass doors. Colonel's rifle collection. Uh, awesome. Um, part of the Colonel's weapon collection is housed in here. Blah, blah, blah. Antique crossbow. Yada, yada. glass case, small silver derringer, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, good. Now we're going to go to the kitchen. I think at best case scenario, we're going to get through act two at this point, but um, that's fine. Uh, so, I mean, this is an amazing house. I mean, secret passages and blah and whatever aside. So, uh, okay. The dining room, we're going to go into the kitchen. Um, does does the mirror on the above the fireplace like actually reflect you? No, it does not. Okay. Uh 
Okay, we're progressing time. That's fine. Honestly, time is uh, we've done a lot of the legwork. Things are going to progress a little bit faster now. But okay. Um just talk I, I ain't getting used to blah 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 working themselves out. Uh, I know, but it just doesn't seem right. Um Hi Laura. She's uh sitting here tapping her foot while this chick works. That's fine. Um, so we ask uh, about uh, Rudy. Uh, Rudy gambles a lot. I think owes a lot of money. Shame. Ask. Uh, Notice him making eyes of Fifi. I wonder if Henri knows about it. Okay. So we ask about those two things. Um, Okay, uh, we're going to go through here. Okay, fucking shit. Um, we go to the study. Okay, so outside the billiard room. All right, so um, we remember we went and Gertie's room door was, the window was open. We looked out, we saw some shit. Um, so here we are in the study room. Okay. Um, or, or here we are in the billiard room. Okay, fine. <laughs> Open door. Okay. Uh, southwest corner of the mansion, right outside the billiard room. Uh, oh dear, Gertie has accidentally fallen from her upstairs window and killed herself. Hmm. Or was it an accident? Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So, um, find Gertie dead. Look, body. Gertie dead, all right. Search body. Uh, he died of a broken neck. No clues as to what might have happened. Okay. So, now we go back. We could tell her about Gertie, I think, but, uh, she doesn't really believe me anyway. So, uh, this, and it doesn't say to do that, so, um... We go back to the kitchen. Gertie, of course, being, uh... Alright, this is our friend here, Lillian. So we're gonna, we're gonna tell Lillian about, um... It can't be true, Laura. I'll go see. Oh, you're just imagining things. Okay. Show Lillian Hanky. Uh, it looks familiar. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> Okay, so she didn't believe us, and she went, and she didn't see anything. So, um, duly noted. Okay. Um, outside the study room, see Clarence and Wilbur chatting. Follow Clarence and Wilbur. So we're going to go through this door. All right, we see them chatting. I guess I should have gone down to look because basically, uh, OK, we see them chatting and we're going to follow them. But basically, the body's no longer there. The body got moved. That's why she doesn't really believe. Um. So we have to follow these guys. No privacy in here either. <laughs> yeah, we're. I guess we're going to follow the shit out of them, right? Um, hallway, move the mirror, look through the spy hole. Let's go in the dining room. Okay. So we, we know where they've said they're going to go. 
So, but this time, instead of following them, we're going to pull mirror. Uh, because we know about these things. Look in the hole. Okay. Uh, we got it. It's just not right. We've got to tell him about it. Um. Horse anyway, blah blah blah. All right, given the time, I'm definitely going to end after Act Two, just because it's it's nice to end on an act, I guess, or maybe right before the end of Act Two. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, there's not much left in this, and again, I, a lot of the stuff I've had to do um, to progress things with asking all these questions to people. There are a couple more people I have to ask all the questions to, but. Uh, maybe this will be three episodes, I don't know, but, uh, so far, so good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm gonna save here. Uh, and then maybe, uh, so I'm going to go through here. No, I don't want to do that because it progressed time. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> I, I was going to show you that her body's no longer there, but, um, basically her body's no longer there. <clears throat> okay. So we've spot on, so now we're going to go to, um, outside the kitchen. I'm just going to follow the walkthrough, okay? Uh, basically, all the bodies, you see them dead, and then they almost instantaneously disappear. Hi, Laura, having fun. Oh, yeah, great. No longer the dog here, as you as you notice. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go outside. Uh, you're standing in the northeast corner. There's the dog house, so the dog is here now. Um, throw bone. Okay, so we throw the bone to get Beauregard out. Uh, look, uh, dog house, uh, dog house written all over, look in dog house. Um, okay. You peer, uh, why it looks like a necklace, uh, Beauregard must have found it. You quickly grab it and take it with you. Okay, good. And, and there was like a, uh, there was like a chime and there's not like, again, like I said, there's not necessarily, um, you can show people stuff too, but there's not necessarily, um, uh, points in this. Although at the end, there's like whether or not you are a super sleuth, um, open the door to the cellar. Um, you must be in the butler's room, not con too bad considering it's in the cellar. So we're in the butler's room. Jesus sleeping. Uh, it looks like he's sleeping. I don't know. Uh, get crackers. We just steal it. You ask Jesus if you can have, he nods his head in approval. Ask about, it doesn't say to add, kindly leave my room. Okay. Yeah. He's gonna, um, he's just, he's not going to answer anything. So that's fine. It doesn't say to question him. So whatever. Um, Okay, so now we go back to the bar. We got the crackers. The crackers are kind of important, actually. Um, seven crackers. And uh, you, so there's a very specific number. Um, so maybe your friend's hungry. She keeps coming in here. No, I'm good. Thanks. This is just the way to uh, get to places. Um, <laughs> so the, uh, the, the parlor... Um, is kind of interesting, and I don't, I don't know that we noticed that, oh, hey, my reflection does go in that mirror. Wow, cool, okay. Um, I don't know that we noticed this, the, hey, Polly, you really understand me, don't you? So, uh, um, 
there's a, a parrot in here and this is like a live parrot that's just like sitting here uh this chick is fucking drunk as shit that's ethel that's uh lillian's mom so okay so we're in the um in the bar uh remember we looked at the canter and glass look the canter again um uh strong alcoholic drink okay um uh okay so we're going to uh give give a cracker to paul i'm right fucking there okay uh so <laughs> give a cracker to the parrot and when you do that the parrot repeats something uh gonna tell him tell him horse race scam ock Okay, so you give them a cracker once every act from now on. So we're in act two, there are eight acts, so there were seven crackers, and actually now there are six, so that's fine. Um, so um, just give him one in every act. Uh, cracker hick. Okay. <laughs> All right, she's drunk as shit. Okay, um, so now we go to Rudy and Clarence's room. And um, just barge in, you know, see Rudy kissing Fifi. Leave me alone, you cad. She slaps him. Okay. And he's now just sitting there coolly. Uh, see Fifi kiss Rudy. Um, look, glass. Uh, you think it's bourbon? Okay. The full conversation with Rudy. Here we go. She's just resting in a room. She's not, but whatever. Um, okay, so um, now we're uh, uh, tell about Gertie, who he said was fine. Uh, tell about. Uh, can't be true, not mother. Um, he comes back and says, uh, you're an asshole. She's not there. Uh, you're loony. There's nothing there. Okay. Um, save the game. Uh, I guess we'll do crackers again. Uh, well, now let's, uh, about to, uh, act three we are pretty close to act three and again i'm i'm gonna end it on act three so um okay so uh we go into the hallway uh we move the clock uh says move the clock, so I guess we're going in this downstairs hallway. And, uh, it's this one. Okay. Uh, good, we're progressing. Gloria and Wilbur. Um, or, no, Gloria and Clarence? Gloria and Clarence, I think. Um, yeah, it's Gloria and Clarence. Very difficult. Blah, blah, blah. Honestly, a lot of these are going to progress a lot more quickly, but it's been, it's been a little while. I'm definitely going to end it um, when we're bordering on Act 3.
want to end it. Uh, are you joking or something? That's ridiculous. Ba -ba -ba -bow. Interesting music on this. Uh, oh, darling, I'm not joking. Have a new beau. He's a director. Um, I guess it, he was a lawyer, right? I mean, I guess she was, yeah, well, I have to think about this. See you around, sweetheart. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Now we go into here and see Wilbur and, uh... Mm, I don't think we were... Hang on, hang on, hang on. It says to go in and have a conversation with Wilbur and tell him about Gertie, but... Um, see Wilbur reading. Doctor is reading a magazine alone. Um. Okay. Well, all right. I th I think um. <sighs> uh, you know, again, I'm not necessarily going to get perfect scores. Uh, really, I'm only missing out about telling Wilbur about Gertie. That's the only thing that didn't happen. But now we are in Act Three. Um, see Wilbur reading in, in, in Act 3, so, um, okay. Uh, I think that's gonna be it. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, great game. Maybe I will finish it in one more episode. Uh, who knows? Again, I, I'm only on Act 3 of 8, and there are a lot of areas on the plantation that I haven't seen yet, but at the same time, um, I've done a lot of the long legwork, so we will see where I get in the next episode, I'm going to go and as always, gamers, have a good evening, day, and night. Minecraft, time lapse, mob traps, world maps, cat naps, rap tracks, perhaps. You'll tune in and watch the hijinks, and if you like, click the up and subscribe links.